Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Today I did this look. Here we go, this is a close up. I did this look and I did it uh, using mostly the Fall Festival, uh, or sorry, the Coastal Scents Winterberry Palette. This is what it looks like. There we go. And uh, I just kind of wanted to do an Eastery look for the weekend. And I've been wanting to use the Winterberry Palette for so long. Um, it's not really a palette that I would wear every day just because the colors aren't something for me that I would like to wear every day. Um, but I'm glad that I got to break it out today and, and wear it. Uh, so anyway, if you want to know how I did this look, then keep watching. Thank you so much for checking this out. Hope you guys uh, have a lovely weekend. Happy Easter. Um, if you hear anything crazy, it's because my daughter is back that way. Not in that door. That's the door to my hallway. But to the side of that door, just over that way a little bit yonder, uh, she's taking a bath. So um, if you hear anything crazy in the background, it's her. I'm going to go in with the Coastal Scents palette uh, in Winterberry. So pretty. This is what it looks like. I ordered this a few months ago and I haven't really, just because of the way that the colors are, they're so, um, they're just a bit too light or pinky or I don't know, they're not something that I, I personally would use for everyday use. But um, the first thing that I'm going to do is go in with this pretty color here, it's this uh, blue color, and I'm just going to take a uh, brush like this and I'm going to apply it to the outer um, half of my eye from the crease down. And I just think that this is such a pretty color. It's just a nice light, or, uh, well, I guess it's not really a light blue. It's like a blue silver kind of color. And I'm bringing it up just a tad. Alright, so I have it on both of my eyes now. I'm gonna take this color next. It's like a purple, a light purple color like that and I'm gonna apply it to the inside I'm gonna go in with this purple color down here at the bottom Oops. that's what it looks like it's just a darker I'm trying to get it to focus on my finger not happening okay anyway I'm gonna take a Sigma E25 brush look I have some fallout right here but I'm gonna dust that off after take my E25 brush go in with that color at the bottom which is quite pigmented and I'm gonna use it to blend right here. Okay, I'm going to take my brush like this next and over here there's a dark purple color. It looks blue on the camera but it's actually a purple color. And I'm going to go in with my um, contour brush and I'm just going to apply that to the outer V. like that. And the brush that I'm going to use is just this, this is just an eyeshadow brush, it's my um, Sephora eyeshadow brush and I really like it for blending purposes. I'm just going to use this and blend that purple color up. And I'm just going to go in with my Sigma Bear palette and I'm going to take this color Command. I'm going to use, uh, this is a tapered blending brush. I'm just going to dip it in Command. And then um, with what I have on there, I'm just going to blend out right here because this is quite dark and, uh, you know, if it's not blended out, it could look a little bit crazy. And then I'm just going to dust off the excess. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. I'm just going to go ahead and take a black eyeliner and I'm going to line my lower lash line. I'm going to go in with an angled brush like this. 
And that dark color, the dark purple color that we use in the bottom, I'm going to use that to set on top of this black liner. And I'm going to do that in the outer part of my lower lash line. And then on the inner part, I'm going to go in with this lighter purple right here. And then on the inner corner of my eye, I'm just going to go in with the Wet n Wild palette. I just want to use like a bronzy color like this, just because there's so much pink and purple and blue. I just kind of want to have something that's not so uh, flashy in the middle. So I'm just going to use this color here, the one that um, is for the brow bone. It's like a beige. Um, it's not really beige. It's like a, it reminds me of a teddy bear brown color. And I'm just going to apply that right here. And I'm also going to take um, a medium angled shading brush that looks like this. I'm going to dip it into that same color gently and I'm going to apply it right here and bring it up to my brow. And I'm going to use it as a highlight as well. Alright, so this is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner and my mascara and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back with the final look. This is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like up close. I still am in such a big need for a wax. I just haven't made the time to go and get my eyebrows waxed. I'm definitely going to do that this weekend though. Um, but anyway, this is the look that I did uh, in honor of Easter, I guess. I don't really wear too many colors like this. Like the purple I would wear um, more often, but not so much the light pink that's back there. But anyway, um, I hope you guys like it. And as I always say, I hope you enjoy your weekend. Happy Easter. Thank you so much for watching.